back the fire, and you can't hold back the rain. Fire's gonna ease our anger, and the tears gonna ease our pain. You can talk about law and order, but the people gonna rise again. Cause where there ain't no justice, there ain't no peace. George Wardlaw in Los Angeles of the Ninth Circuit Court ruled that no one could prohibit unhoused people who had no shelter to go to from sleeping between the hours of 9 p.m. and 8 a.m. He said you cannot criminalize the necessary unavoidable consequences of being human and unhoused. The weather is changing. It's raining. It's storming. We need to do something now. It's cold. Yeah. It's cold. With sleeps, the conversation has added another way forward to help the unhoused. A request to lift or modify the camping ban temporarily to allow people who are already sleeping in public places the right to be allowed to remain until morning. Yeah. Yeah. This is a compassionate action our city council could take now in negotiation with sleeps activists and supporters to reduce the suffering of the unhoused in our community. Continuously woken up, told to move. I'm gonna go to the library. You know, it takes us to sleeps right now today is providing houseless folks with a very basic human need, which is shelter which is constitutionally protected. Say, there are only two reasons, or really one big one, that you can shut down a protest. It has to be something that is so compelling that you're actually willing to deny people their First Amendment rights. And generally, it's either a public safety hazard or that you're interfering with business. Clearly, we are neither. From a police perspective, I definitely feel like it was a success. You know, we had those open lines of communication. We didn't have to have officers come down here. They could be out in other parts of the city doing police services. The chief administrator for Lane County chose to release to the register guard untruths about this protest. outside her office and uh, accepted the letter, um, did not want to read it right now, but said that she would read it. So this letter is dated December 17, 2012, and it is addressed to Leanne Richardson, County Administrator, Lane County. Your decision to close one of Eugene's two historic public forums for protest, the Wayne Morse Plaza, Free Speech Plaza on false allegations is a cause for concern to all citizens. On closing the plaza, quote, temporarily and indefinitely, end quote, Tuesday at 11 p.m., you stated falsely that sleeps members had damaged the building and created a biohazard. County employees, television, and print media, and time and date stamped photos from sleeps have documented that your comments are erroneous and leave the county open to libel suits. Your closing of the plaza further exposes the county to First Amendment suits. Because First Amendment rights are so critical to a democracy, the courts have held that protest sites cannot be shut down unless there is a quote unquote compelling reason to do so. We believe that your comments were inflammatory and that the closing of the plaza was a direct violation of the constitutional rights of Eugene citizens, an acknowledgement from you that, despite your fears, the protesters neither damaged property, defecated in the plantas, nor interfered with county business, 
seems appropriate an insurance from you that the traditional public forum, Free Speech Plaza, will not be shut down in the future before allegations of safety issues have been confirmed to be true would be an important step toward establishing trust in the community. We look forward to your response. So we are hoping to have a response from her as soon as possible. Fortunately, the plaza has been reopened today and we will now go exercise our free speech rights. Each of us holding a flickering candle. Each of us holding a flickering candle. Seemingly insignificant one by one. Seemingly insignificant one by one. Yet magnificent when held together. Yet magnificent when held together. Welcome to the Sleeps Candlelight Vigil. Bishop Desmond Tutu said, My humanity is bound up in yours, for we can only be human together. Exclusion is never the way forward on our shared paths to freedom and justice. We are gentle and redeemed, and we are singing, singing for our love. community here in Eugene is very large and I think that the citizens of Eugene should be concerned.